What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back in with another video and today we're going to compare Wave 1 versus Wave 2 Brilliant Stars booster boxes. Let's go! Oh baby! Are you kidding me? Is that Krom? Oh baby! You missed it Jack! This is not real. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh gosh, that's my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is going on, Hilltop TCG family? That's right. Today we're going to be comparing Wave 1 versus Wave 2 Brilliant Stars booster boxes. And before I get started, I want to apologize. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. I'll be honest. Uh, my boss had a baby. I had to prioritize all that stuff first. So that's where I've been. But I'm back to recording a few videos, you guys. So let's get into it. All right. So wave one versus wave two and there is you're asking how how the heck is he identifying these besides getting them at different times well for like chilling rain for instance gosh what did it take four months like it took four months to get wave two we got wave two in just like a, a matter of weeks from pokemon right um so i think this is an example of dish different distribute like different production i guess is the right word different production making the Pokemon cards because on the wave two, um, it is very smooth. Um, the Pokeballs on here are very smooth. Like I couldn't, I couldn't scratch these off even if I try to, like it's very, very clean, very smooth on wave one. Um, and please forgive me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but these are the two identifying things that I received from distributors. Like on these, like you, you guys have heard of like the white, like the, the people made jokes from it, all the white debris from it. Like if I wanted to scratch off one of these Pokeballs, like I could, I could scratch off this Pokeball. Like you guys can kind of tell, I guess you can't really tell. Like I could really go to town here and I could scratch off this Pokeball and it gets like white crap all over. And this, I couldn't scratch off this Pokeball if I tried to. So that's the main identifier for me is like the Pokeball printing is, you could feel it when you rub your hands across it. So those are my two identifiers. And why am I doing it? And it's because I want to see, on average, Wave 1 was really close to around like 12 hits per box. I want to see if Wave 2 is as well. A lot of people always say Wave 2 has harder hit ratios. So let's find out. And again, these were, let's get right into it, I guess, before I... Uh, get into the explanation why but while i'm ripping into this you guys don't forget to go like this video uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button hit the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video you guys it really truly does go a long way and it is genuinely appreciated i don't know if you guys can see it on the white mat i guess you probably can i'm looking at the camera recording right now but there's a bunch of white junk just on the on the board just from ripping this box open you guys so that's my main identifier and like kind of like I said I'm just gonna start talking as I rip into these I just again I just want to test are the hits the same a lot of people always say wave 2 has worse hits they're a little bit more uh, stingent on the hits so I just want to I want to test it out so let's rip open a booster box and find out of each so um, my first inclination though is it, it really has to just be different production companies Pokemon obviously has a few uh, trusted production companies. Um, look at that. That's a straight on, not even rounded corner right there. That's funny. Um, Pokemon has a few production companies, right? That they, they go to and they say, okay, here's the, here's the designs. Here's the packaging. Go ahead and print it for us. And so that's what they're doing here and they can't just rely on one factory to print these so for wave one they probably went to one factory and said hey print all this stuff for us and then on uh wave two and did we get a v max uh v max can't believe these are still in the set but yeah they went to one factory and said hey print these for us oh i don't even have any sleeves gosh I go stream on like Twitch and whatnot and stuff. Sorry, more of whatnot. And I bring my sleeves out and forgot to bring them in where I record for YouTube. So my apologies on the no sleeves. Dracovish. Um, 
but yeah they go to those guys and say hey print different stuff and in in the terms of probably like chilling rain right like they may have only had one production company maybe one of the production companies couldn't get their supplies in to dene right there so we got three good hits i mean we got hits nothing to like write home to mom about but we got hits um and then you know there could have been there could have been all sorts of factors of delays right uh but i mean they did an awesome job this time pokemon did like they almost shouldn't even have split it into waves because it literally wave two was out by like the second week of release right so hey choice belt that's a good reverse to get um so i mean it really almost wasn't even wave two i bet you i bet you they still might split it up into waves for for future sets but i bet you they'll try to get away from that would be my my guess and we got a regular shaman v ultra rare so we're getting hits all right we're getting hits we're getting hits like you kind of expect. Sorry, that again, there's no sleeves. I don't have any. I'm not going to go grab them. We have, I mean, maybe if there's like a Charizard banger pulled out of this or some type of Arceus, maybe I'll go grab a sleeve. But yeah, I just wanted to see if the typical ratios are around the same. These are out of two different cases. Um, we still had a little bit of stock in from our, our first wave. And I mean, really, this is, I mean, what? Uh, Brilliant Stars has been out for like a month. What's today? The 20th? It came out around the 20, 25th or something like that of last month. So it's only been out for a month. So we definitely had a little bit extra. Hey, Shaman V Star. There we go. We got a V Star. Uh, yeah, had a little bit lying around. And I was like, I was curious. We got some in. And I was like, I got to test this out. And obviously, I've been busy with work. So um, yeah, it took me a minute. Dust Nor. Ooh, that reminded me. I'm reminding myself as I'm going through it this recording ah uh, hopefully i remember in the edit right here i'm gonna slow down right here is the winner right here is the winner for the build and battle brilliant stars kit the, not the stadium but the build and battle video that was a giveaway here is the winner right here you've been contacted um and we'll be sending you a build and battle kit for free whoa oh that was out of order let's go I thought it was out of order because I thought it was just a regular V, but it's not. It is what? The, probably the second most valuable trainer gallery, Umbreon. Let's go. Okay. I mean, we're not even halfway done, guys. We haven't seen any kind of full art or secret rare action, but that Umbreon will absolutely pay off. We have, gosh, seven hits. This is what the set does, guys. It is insanely awesome. It is just insanely awesome, man um it literally just gives gives and gives and gives and gives i literally have seven hits and we still have two packs left on this left side guys the right half may be a little slow who knows or we might get some more bangers seeing double draco fish though got two fishes all right guys last pack on this left side so yeah, we're ripping into two booster boxes, you guys. So stay tuned, stick around, and we are just gonna rip through these like lightning as always. We got a hollow bibberol there. We got eight hits, guys. Eight freaking hits. It always in it just is insane. We have basically, I mean, the only real cool thing right now, I mean, we've have we have hits, we have the Umbreon which is obviously awesome. But everything else, I mean, the Shaman's cool, V-Star, they're not guaranteed in a booster box. Everything else is pretty uh, stock standard average, you know, around a, worth basically a dollar at this point. And that's one of the things too, I mean, you've seen all these hits and you kind of seen it in the, the lower tier ultra rares and the lower tier trainer galleries is, hey, let's go! Charizard V Star, guys. That is a hard card to pull. Let's freaking go. All right. So, two V Stars out of box. That is really pretty unheard of, which is cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh, value. Talking about value on these things. I mean, there's been a ton of videos on it. People have talked about it. It is what it is. And I'll, and I'll take it, right? Like, these, like the, the Vs that, I mean, that are just for set collecting that aren't playable uh yeah nobody really wants besides those two 
I mean, just for collectability, right? Completing a set um, or a kid wanting to pull it, they're, they're worth like a dollar, dollar fifteen now, right? And people were kind of worried about that because of these insane hit ratios, which is, which is fair. Um, but the value on the higher end cards, which are still a fairly good ratio, right? Like the Charizard hyper rares, um, aren't, aren't like crazy hard to pull. I mean, in many cases, like out of two, like ripping 12 booster boxes, you might see one, you might see two, um, which is actually really good. Usually the old ultra rares are like one in like, like the really hard chasers, like one in like 400 packs, right? So, oh my gosh, what a weird box, guys. Charizard V-Star, what a weird, weird box. That is genuinely something I've never seen before. Man, these boxes still like want to surprise you. Man, I hate not having sleeves on these, but is what it is. My gosh, and we got something else here. Whoa, what? <laughs> Seeing double, what is this? We literally have two Dracovishes, two Entes now, we have two Umbreon V Trainer Galleries, two Charizard V Stars. What a start to a video, guys. Good luck, second print wave. Holy smokes, this is weird. Oh, we got something else. Oh my gosh, we got a Flareon and a Haunch Crow. <laughs> you guys, I took a minute. I've been working. I've gone on Whatnot like once, no, twice, I think. Um, but this is really the first time I've got to sit down and relax and then enjoy opening in about a week. Oh my gosh, we got something else. Oh my gosh. Mimikyu V Trainer Gallery 4. Where are we going to put all these? And a Bibberal Hollow. I haven't had a chance to sit down and relax and just enjoy opening a box myself, making a video for you guys. Literally, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 hits, guys, and we have six packs left after this one. <laughs> six packs left after this, and we still have another booster box to go. We don't have a secret rare yet. I mean, I'm not going to complain. 100% not going to complain. Why would I even complain about this? This is insane. Oh my gosh, we got something else. Is it gold? It's gold. Let's go! Moltres V gold action off centered as can be but my gosh i asked for a secret rare and we freaking got one guys holy cow holy cow we still have five packs left one two three four five we still have five packs left is this gonna be the record box i think this might be the record box guys wait <laughs> wave one holy shnikes holy shnikes Shnike is a word. Shnike is a thing. Cling clang right there. There's the code card for you. Three packs. I mean, surely, surely there's nothing else. Oh, just kidding. Oh, oh, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to yell. I don't want to yell. I'm freaking out inside. I'm going a horse. We got a Haunch Crow alternate art, guys. Holy crap. What a what a return for me ripping a box. What a return. Like returning back, not a return on investment, I guess probably a solid return on investment too, but what a return back to YouTube and opening cards for you guys. Boss's order, hollow there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this board. I'm freaking out, I'm losing my voice. And an ice cube. Wow. What, what? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hits. Two Umbreons, Gold Moltres, Alternate Arc, two Charizards, Mimikyu. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go get some sleeves. We're going to rip into the Wave 2 booster box, but good luck, Wave 2. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, 18 hits. Oh my gosh, let's look at them one more time. 
Moltres, Honchcrow Alt Art, CN Double Umbreon Trainer Gallery, Mimikyu Trainer Gallery Full Art, two Charizard V Stars, a Shaman V Star, Flareon, Dustnor, Dedene, and then a bunch of Vs. 18 hits, guys. Good luck, second wave. Oh my gosh. Like, I. I don't. I had to, like, I literally had to take, like, five minutes and collect myself. Like,. That's probably top three booster boxes for me. Like, I mean, obviously pulling like the hyper rare Charizard, the, the full art Charizard, um, those gotta be up there. But that is hands down top three boxes that I've pulled. Like the most hits I've ever pulled. Um, the, I mean, 18 hits and there was definitely quality in the 18 hits. I always harp on quality versus quantity. Um, lately I've noticed and I'm gonna stick with that. And that was both. Literally had quantity and quality. Top three, and look, these are interesting, man. They're like, it's amazing the different production. You guys, you gotta rip two, both of them side by side, but the glue, oh my gosh. The glue, the packaging, Urshifu VMAX already, guys. Wow, we already got some gold, so we'll see. Oh, I gotta get you guys the code card. Um, my gosh you guys yeah that was top three so this i mean it did it, it again it's just ripping we're just ripping two boxes obviously you need to rip a bunch to kind of get a true real real data set going with this but you know what it's still fun just to kind of compare the two waves because in reality pokemon's going to try to make them fairly similar right like in the, in the production run or the production uh, company the factory that put these together for Pokemon they're they're kind of given probably a, a ratio to hold to and, um, and and stuff like that per booster box and then granted they may mess up we've seen a few people with a few mess ups and stuff like that and in uh, videos on YouTube but man to me I honestly feel like that was almost an air box on wave one I mean 18 hits oh baby come on Hey, we got a Gramble Full Art. Okay, we got a Full Art. Definitely one of the lower tier Full Arts. We did not see a Full Art in the last box, which was kind of interesting to see. I'm going to sit back a little bit and enjoy this with my, help my back save a little bit. And an Al Creamy and a Tornadus. Um, code card for you. Man, I mean, we got, oh, I'm used to not sleeving stuff up. And we got, we got sleeves now, guys. We got sleeves can't I can't not sleeve Gramble. Can't not sleeve the doggy. Got our first regular V Agron. Code cards are a different way too. And it's so interesting. So interesting, guys. The difference between production runs. And again, I mean I re reiterated it second the second time I'll say it in the video. Wave one and wave two, um, Pokemon, please correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, if, you, if you're watching my videos or someone else, right? But it's it's just a different factory making making these cards for, for Pokemon, right? I mean, they're, they definitely can't just have one production factory putting, you know, millions of packs together, right? For a new new release. They're gonna, they're gonna ask multiple different factories to do that for them, which is fine and understandable. Um, and needs to be done for probably any business, especially like this, to meet the capacity of of someone, you know, of of your uh, your your market, right? So understandable. It's just it's funny to tell the difference. Like these packs, definitely more glued, definitely harder to open. Code cards are faced a different direction, even though they're this way. I think in the other packs they're faced downwards. Um, yeah, because I would be able to open them and do that. So it's kind of interesting, the code card um, orientation, I guess. So that's that's interesting. Um, you think, you'd think that would be similar, but what we want to test here is the ratios. And we definitely are a little bit skewed on the wave one. I mean, I, I ripped a bunch of wave one, and the most I had ever hit was 16 hits. I know Skylar had a few boxes with I think 16 to 18 as well I think 18 was his top number uh, I had yet to, to hit that myself guard chomp hollow right there um, so yeah I mean 
a little bit skewed, but really fun. <laughs> really fun. Luxray. We had what? Seven? I think we had seven hits by the end of um, the left side. We still have about four packs to go. Uh, but we had we have uh, four hits right now. We had seven hits, guys. You just you just know when you have a booster. Oh my gosh! Let's go. The trainer galleries you want to hit. Both these booster boxes are just making my evening, guys. What what a return! What a return back! Let's freaking go! Let's go! Even if, oh baby, and a berry. Definitely have hit that one way too many times in the last month, but that is okay. Getting a full art action, we got two full arts. We got a gold VMAX trainer gallery. We have the Sylveon trainer gallery. I spoke too soon. We literally have six hits now, and we still have one more pack to go after this. Straptor right there. Um, wow. Wow. Wow, this box is this box is keeping up, guys. And again, the biggest identifier, how doom. There's seven hits, guys. Seven hits right there. Holy smokes, this box is keeping on track with the first one. That's unheard of. Uh, biggest identifier was the white powder uh, residue off of wave one, and you could you could honestly like truly scratch off the logos on the on the plastic wrap that are around the booster box on the wave ones like it's it's raised it's not like built in to the the plastic wrap i guess you could say it's like i almost oh eevee it's almost like printed on after like they wrapped it up and then they like printed it on after probably not they probably printed it on but just a different type of printing for that so that's the biggest thing identifier for me and the pack toughness like the other ones open up really easy these ones are really glued like you can see like the flap is really glued right there a little bit harder to open so those are the two identifiers for me Arceus let's go definitely the V card you want to get very playable card the V max is geez like over 30 bucks still playability is through the roof on that I think they use that a lot in the tournaments just barely going on there's a tournament in salt lake city um which is my home state hey mustard um or my capital of my home state it's only about 40 minutes away from me had a, the tournament there the regional tournament for pokemon there and i think arceus and gengar were used quite a bit there definitely a very playable card professor's research hollow so the quantity on point here, the quality not as strong. Quantity still, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits and we have like 12 packs to go. Ten hits and we have like 12 packs, guys. Uh, Lightbird right there. Oh, what, what a two awesome packs. This thing, this card makes it for me. The Evolution makes it for me. Uh, we just need one real decently valued card to really help bring this booster box kind of over the top but i still think wave one bearing some miracle from wave two i mean a charizard is an instant win i won't be sad about that oh haunch crow v full art oh i almost called it i felt like i was like calling a charizard and it almost came out a haunch crow is a sick looking card probably only a four or five dollar card but still really cool card to get man we have one two three real three uh normal set full arts not the trainer trainer gallery full arts wow three full arts well all we need is a secret rare to really round this box out are we gonna get the secret rare we have uh, quite a few hits to go all we need is that secret rare love to really round us out zamazenta it was interesting on the last booster box too all the duplicates had like three different cards that were duplicates or four i think four different pokemon that were duplicates it was yeah entei dracovish charizard and uh, umbreons which geez i'll take i'll take a duplicate of that umbreon all day all day 
All right, so we have, gosh, about seven packs left. Man, I'm gonna have to spend the rest of the night making videos or something just to, to keep up this momentum, I say, man. This is, this is great. Love getting back into ripping cards for you guys. Oh, come on. Oh, baby! Articuno V Gold. Let's go. Golly's boxes are very similar. Like, we got the Trio Bird. We got the Evolution. Um, we just need two V Stars all of a sudden. It'll be a very, that'd be kind of eerily, sim eerily similar. Is that the right way to say it? I don't know. Sure. Close enough. All right. There we go. Okay, there's a code card for you. Jeez, guys. Even even though this box isn't going to have the same amount of hits. Wow, wave, wave two is incredible. So this is really one I wanted to, to kind of show you guys. Is Even though wave one, people always say wave one. Wave one's got all the hits. Wave one, you know, they, they see those with way, way more hits just to entice you to want to buy the products, you know, blah, 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 blah. That may have been the case in maybe a few sets or something like that. Uh, potentially, I don't have definitive proof of that, right? But this shows you right here that even though wave one's going to win, I'm um, bearing a Charizard in the last pack, even though wave one's going to win, I mean, look at these hits. The hits on the board say enough, right? And, oh my gosh, we got something to end it. Grand Bull. We got a V to end it. So, I mean, come on. For Brilliant Stars, they just did it right. Even Wave 1, Wave 2, they did it right, guys. Go, good job, Pokemon. Like, good freaking job. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Only three hits different right we got an articuno we got a sylveon we have three full arts we didn't get any v stars um but yeah i mean awesome hits on the wave two box wave one obviously took the w with just that little view right there insane view um insane but i mean there you go wave one wave two are both awesome boxes guys uh, go buy Brilliant Stars. You will not be disappointed if you have not ripped a booster box yet. Uh, yeah, go do it. But if you made it to the end of the video, you are an absolute legend. But have a great night, weekend, whatever it is for you. Peace.